What's going on YouTube modeling community? Pappy here at West Georgia Rods and Customs. Thought I'd give y'all a little final on the uh, Ravel 1970 Plymouth CUDA, better known as CUDA, 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 or CUDA times three. My old buddy Jerry Waddell over at Woody's Models, uh, we were all chatting one night and he was like, Pappy, you ain't got a uh, Dodge in your Pro Street Corral. Well, I do. I've got the old Dodge uh, Plymouth, or actually the old Dodge uh, Pro Street Coronet. That was the Dirty Donnie kit that came out a long time ago. Uh, probably, and y'all know, I don't build a whole lot of Dodges, but I tell you what, I got, I've got some ideas coming up on uh, some possible future ones. So, but anyhow, to no avail, Jerry was like, Pappy, you need to put a, uh, some kind of a Chrysler product or a Mopar in that old uh, Pro Street uh, collection of yours. And I was like, you know what? I do have the uh, Plymouth uh, Cuda kit. That's the, uh, that's that uh, double, uh, I think it's the uh, All-American uh, Racing uh, uh, Cuda. That's, it's the purple box art uh, kit. So, I went out there, I dug it out, and I was like, you know what, I got that kit, I got a couple of, I gotta always keep a good supply of the 67 Pro Street Chevelle kits. I always use those for the uh, tubs and the rear ends and everything. So, went out there, I dug that out, and I was like, all right, Jerry, you talked me into it. Didn't take too much arm twisting for me to build something Pro Street. So, so let me pull this out of the way, and there we are. That's the... Uh, this is my take on it right here, and I tell you what, it was, uh, this is the fun bill. I really enjoyed this. This is a, uh, uh, what I wanted to do, and it was kind of a, I wanted to actually do a build of a car that, uh, and I get people ask me all the time, Pappy, do you always airbrush stuff? Yes, I do. 90% of the time I usually airbrush, but this particular one, I kind of wanted to debunk the mystery. Uh, of what it takes to get a good quality or a good shine, especially a show shine. This is something that, you know, a lot of people tend to, you know, they're, they're like, oh, you got to you gotta airbrush uh, everything in order to get a good shine. But no, you don't. Man, I tell you what. This one right here, it comes straight out of the rattle can all the way from the, the primer to the base coat to the, to, the, uh, to the candy and all the way to the clear. So... Pretty much proofs in the pudding right there, but you know you don't have to airbrush in order to get a show shine. But this is it right here. Uh, let me just keep giving it a quick spin. This uh, this kit right here, one of the reasons why I call it Cuda Times 3 is it took three kits to actually, uh, it didn't take too much here and Jerry going Cuda, Cuda, Cuda for me to build it. So, but it really took three kits in order to, to get this kit, what, what you see right here in front of you. Uh, the Plymouth kit, the, uh, 67 Chevelle pro street was a lot. It was a donor to it. Pretty much just the, uh, the tubs and the, uh, uh, the rear end and the tires. Now, as far as the tires, uh, the tires come from that, but the wheels, uh, I think that, I don't know what kit these came off out of, but these are the, uh, well, uh, the weld drive five, uh, drag 500 wheels that, that I used on this. And I just had a pair of skinnies from a, from some kit i don't know for the front but as far as the engine itself uh the engine i don't know what hemi engine this came from but i had a blower laying around and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna uh i'm just gonna do that and uh but it's wired plumbed uh just all the night i did a lot of detail work on the in, underneath of this uh, as far as the uh in the engine compartment itself and it's just man i tell you what it, it really it really pays off to go to, and do a lot of the detail work uh inside that engine compartment so if you've been following this bill though uh you've seen the interior go into it uh just did the uh it's nato black did a lot of wood grain on the dash and on the console uh flocked it did the uh, uh just you know a pair of seat uh, did seat belts in it Pretty much well a stock interior, just minus the back seat, because uh, didn't have a whole lot of room to put, uh, you know, put the back seat in there. So I had because of the big tubs and everything. So let me just keep spinning this around right here. Let it let you get the uh, let y'all get the gist of the color as far as the shine and everything. Let me uh, uh, let me just give us keep going around, keep going on around. The color itself, now, like I said, it, uh, the first coat uh, that went on this car was the uh, was the silver, uh, I forget what the TS Tamiya number is, 
but it is bright silver. It's almost a metallic silver. Once I laid that down, uh, got it good and smooth. I used, uh, I let it, you know, dry real good as far as probably four or five days, let it uh, cure out. Then I came back with the TS-52 Tamiya in the rattle can. Uh, that is a candy lime green. Uh, I've had people ask me, Pappy, is this sublime? No, it is not sublime. It is candy. Two light coats of the TS-52 is all it took. And it was just enough to cover the silver, but you still get the hint of the sparkle uh, from the uh, from the metallic silver right there. Let me kind of cover up above it right there and you can just you can just see the sometimes right here especially in the uh in this uh uh in the b pillar back here you can just see the metallic coming out in it and it's uh but it is a candy it's a candy paint but uh once i got the once i got the uh ts52 sprayed i let it uh cure out Put the decals on it, got everything situated with that. Then I bought four coats of TS-13 uh, clear out of the Tamiya rattle can is what completed the shine. Then let it gas out, and then we come back with the, uh, the novice uh, polishing system. I swear by this stuff, and it just, like I say, it just shines like a diamond in a goat's butt. But there we are with that, uh, CUDA times three, what I do with the hood, i tell you what, the hood, we just, uh, we didn't, we, we went with it. Uh, we just went ahead and used the hood. I appreciate, pr really do appreciate everybody's comments as far as the, uh, see how smooth that little hood goes on there. I went ahead, I thought about doing it green, but I was, everybody, I had a lot of votes to, uh, to do it in the NATO black. And there she is, that's, that's what we did with it. I uh, had a set of photo etch uh, hood latches or hood pins right there. Went ahead and put those in as well. And uh, we uh, uh, finished her up the other night. Uh, anytime I build something, you know, I always like to, I put my tags and stuff on there. I used an old Harley Davidson tag right there in the front. But uh, it's never a hot ride from West Georgia Rods and Customs until basically i say so <laughs> and there she is there's my there's my customary tag that i normally put on the uh any of my bills that's just something something a little fun that i like to do let me give y'all a little look see up under the uh up under it right there looking on the mirror uh tell you what it was a, a, a pretty it, it was wasn't hard to do but uh as far as everything that i did have to do as far as it's just a back half uh, back here in the rear and uh, everything from probably about the uh, uh, probably at about the mufflers right there where they end at all the way to the front is the Plymouth kit but from the mufflers back that's all the 67 Chevelle Pro Street kit that I used but just a little bit of detail painting just uh, did you know taped it off and did the uh, painted the frame a lot of different, uh, just different washes and stuff as far as metallics up under that uh, completes that out as well. But there she is, guys. That's uh, Plymouth uh, 70 model. Cuda, Cuda, Cuda. Give y'all a little bit one more time around. Get you a little look-see at it and let me know what you think. But I appreciate everybody that's been watching this bill, all the comments likes and everything on it and i uh, tell you what uh, if it wasn't for a wasn't for you one for all you wonderful guys and and ladies out there some uh, a lot of you a lot of the wives watch watch along with their uh, their husbands i know carla's always watching uh a lot of my bills that's jerry's wife and i really appreciate her uh comments uh, on my bills as well but and she's a great, she's a good builder too. She's one of them great ones. She's learning a lot from Jerry. And man, I tell you, she can really paint. She's learning to paint. And I think she's probably going to paint a lot more, probably a lot better than Jerry is on his models. At least she finished his models. <laughs> Anyhow, we, uh, we're always cutting up with each other. But uh, I tell you, that's the fun. That's the fun of this, uh, this hobby. We, a bunch of great guys that, uh, that's in this community. And uh, it's just like, it's a brotherhood and a, we, we have a good camaraderie together with everyone. So, But anyhow, folks, God bless y'all. Remember, if you can dream it, build it. God bless y'all. Pappy out of here.